avoid the Darshin Darshin station It's just a fear Darshin Darshin station I'm never gonna get out of here I'll avoid the Darshin Darshin station well, ladies and gentlemen, Disney has officially announced that we will be getting a new trilogy of Star Wars films beginning in the year of 2022, 2024, and then uh, lastly in 2026. Now, as many of you know, the Rise of Skywalker, which is episode 9 coming out in December, is the last, supposedly, until Disney, of course, needs more money is the supposed end of the Skywalker saga, which George Lucas began back in 1977. We're still unknowing if this is going to be the Ryan Johnson trilogy that we have been told about, even though there is no proof of it, or the Game of Thrones director's trilogy. We're not really sure yet. But seeing as how, of course, we obviously hate Ryan Johnson, he's annoying, he's a prick, he thinks he's better than everyone else, and of course, as we know, the Game of Thrones directors aren't doing too hot right now in regards to Game of Thrones. Uh, we are ex we expected more, guys. We did. We expected more. We've we've been following this series, one of the best television shows in history for the past decade, and then you let us down with this this last season, and now a lot of us are saying. Seriously, this is the best that you could come up with. Uh, okay, I don't buy it, but all right. So, as a Star Wars fan, the reason why I wanted to make this video was for one simple reason. No one cares about this. No one's talking about this. This is Star Wars. Three new films, dated and slotted, ready to be made. And no one even cares. Do you know why? Because Star Wars is dead. The magic is dead. The drama is dead. The character study, the personality, the building of persons and characters and relationships and the world and the, and the universe building and the lore building and the complexity of the Force. It is gone. It is shattered. The Force Awakens was a chink in it. Rogue One, meh, it was okay. Then you got The Last Jedi, which completely blew out the windows. And Solo just completely whimpered into oblivion. And now? Now? You done? You done fucked up, Disney. You done fucked up. What do you need to do? The reason why people don't care about Star Wars anymore is because it's not under George. It's not under that mystical, magical mindset of the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Lucas. He might not be very good at writing dialogue. We all agree on that. But he brought a sense of magic, wonder, story building, and lore creation that you guys can't even wave a finger at. You guys are so pathetic in regards to Star Wars, in regards to it all. All you care about is making money. That's all you care about. Bob Iger. What a disgusting name. I can't even say it without snarling my nose. Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams. It's almost a disservice and a dishonorable thing to continue calling you guys the Lucasfilm story group. Because you're not Lucasfilm anymore. What are you? I don't know. Call yourself Disney Film, because that's not what you are anymore. You're not Lucasfilm. You do not tell the stories that these characters should be a part of. What do you say? What do you tell us? You tell us stories with no narrative, no character build, nothing. Why should we care? We don't. And that's why no one's talking about this. No one gives a flip. I've seen, like... Maybe five videos on this. No one cares. It's not that important. Because we don't care. The reason why we don't care is because you own it still. And you're still hiring crap directors with crap actors with crap writers making crap stories about crap people we don't give a crap about. And maybe if, we, if any of you would use just an iota of a brain cell. But no, you're not. You're not going to think. 
So what do we have to do? We have to beat the living daylights out of you till you understand, oh crap, we don't have a single penny in the bank. We are so broke, it is ridiculous. We have to get loans just to make pay the light bills. Oh, uh, well, I guess now we got to start listening to what the fans want. And the reason why you have to listen to what the fans want now, you were like, oh, well, George never had to do that. You know why? Well, number one, George would actually listen, and he changed stuff like Jar Jar, like the Clone Wars. The TV show. He 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 made it so that the fans got what they wanted. On top of that, on top of that, the reason why you have to listen to the fans is because obviously there is no one at Star Wars at Lucasfilm. Besides Dave Filoni himself, that is a true Star Wars fan. You people do not make films that look and feel and seem like Star Wars. There are people like Star Wars Theory who can make a better Star Wars film than you guys can on like a million dollar budget. What the hell? What is going on with you guys? If you would just get a true fan like Dave Filoni to make a movie, you are already obviously losing money with Solo. Why not go ahead, go on a limb, and let Dave direct a film? Or just let a diehard Star Wars fan do it. One who loves the EU, one who respects the material, looks up to George as this creative genius that you want to respect. Why not do that? And if it flops, it flops. And you can say, we told you so. But if it creates a crap load of money, which we all know is what Disney only cares about, there you go. There you go. We, pr we proved it to you. We just want good Star Wars. We want the music, the crescendo. We want the Blazing lightsaber fights, the awesome cinematic explosions of ships in space. We want the grand drama of fantastic characters struggling with darkness, fighting for lightness. That's all we, what we want. That's all we want. It's not that complex. It's, it's literally that simple. Make a little tweak here and there for a little twist and a turn. Sprinkle in a lot of creativity. There you go. It's a Star Wars film. It's not that complex. But you all are a bunch of bullheaded retards. Because the only thing you do is you go into the writing room and you think, okay, first we gotta get a diverse character, and we have to have a big whammon, because respect women. That is your problem. That's what you, that's the problem. You go into it thinking that's the first thing you gotta do. But it's not. You have to go in with an idea, a story, a theme. What do you want to teach the people? How do you want to progress the story? How do you want to add on to the lineage of Star Wars? But instead, you think with your wallets. You think with your pathetic excuse of a brain. There are people on food stamps who work at Waffle House, who have an IQ of negative 25, that are exponentially smarter and wiser than you guys are. Because at least they know how to walk on two feet, work, are logical in some sense, and can open and shut a door. You guys can't even do that. Quote unquote, Lucasfilm. It is pathetic. It is ridiculous. You are not Star Wars. This is not, oh look, three new Star Wars films. No, it's not. It is three new Disney Star Wars films. That is the difference. People don't say, so we got a new Star Wars film out today. No, what do they say? Oh, we got a new Star Wars film under Disney. You have to include Disney. Why? Because it's not the same. It is different, and you have radically changed it into a film franchise that no one in the fan base can 
absolutely identify as Star Wars. You are pathetic wastes of human beings. You have transformed what was once beloved amongst a huge entire fan base of men and women and children into a social political commentary that no one gives a fine flippin' fuck about. No one cares about your ideologies. No one cares about your politics. You can go around and preach and prance about and say that you care about equality. No, you don't. You care about destroying men, killing them all, letting it be replaced by the your supposed dominant race. You want to enslave men, put on the bindings, put on the shackles, start the whips up, put them in the fields and make them act work like animals because women are goddesses. That's what you want, but you're too freaking fucking scared to say it. And so... You know what? We'll start saying it for you. That's what you want. The extermination of men and every person on the per planet be women. That's all you want. That's all you want. And that's fine. Just say it. But you're too freaking scared. Because you know if you said it, everyone would look at you like you're a bunch of freaking morons. That's what you want. Just admit it. Man up. Or woman up in your progressive speech. But you're not going to because you're a bunch of cowards. You're a bunch of two-year-olds living in the bodies of 30s and 20-year-olds, 40-year-olds and 50-year-olds. You're the Hippocratic Party. A bunch of freaking hypocrites, scared and cowardice, hiding malicious intents. And you are a pathetic, sick, sad waste of sack of meat bags. How pathetic. Well, I was going into Tar Sheet Station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. Well, I was going into Tar Sheet Station to pick up some power converters.